Good day viewers and welcome to Physics and Mathematics Lovers. Today we shall continue with the topic on physics, friction. Today we are going to look at calculating what friction. We're going to solve some questions from uh, friction. But before we do that, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Physics and Mathematics Lover. Also like this page, follow us, comment. If you have any question, write it on the comment section. As you do so, God will bless you. Uh, look at the question on the board. And uh, remember, we talked about friction and the loss of friction in our previous video. Today, we shall look at what the calculation re relating to friction. So, a body of mass 5 kg placed on a horizontal plane. It is found that a force of 10 Newton applied horizontally to the body is just about to move it. Calculate the coefficient of static friction between the body and the plane. Remember our fifth law of friction? I told you that the limiting frictional force, this is the body. So coming to a solution, this is the body now. Let's use the diagrammatic representation. So this is the body that was placed on a plane surface horizontally. This is the force that is applied. And this FR here is the force that is resisting the movement. This body here is stationary on this surface. It is at rest. Now, when this force is about to move it, to make it to be in motion, so that means we are going to have this F minus this, because this force must be overcome. It must be overcome before the body can be moved. Minus what FR equal to what M A. So this acceleration, mass times acceleration. That is when the body is just about to move. But in this case, acceleration here is zero. Which means here I'm going to have F minus R equal to what? Zero because mass times zero here is going to give me zero. So in this case, this F here that we are talking about here is equal to what this frictional force. So they are the same. So in that case, we are going to look at our fifth law that says that what F is proportional to what? To what? Normal reaction. This is the normal reaction that this surface is what? Acting on this body. So the weight of the body here is this W. is what? Acting downward. So I know it's going to give me what? Mg which is this mass here, multiplied by what? Acceleration due to gravity. And the value of acceleration due to gravity is usually 10 meter per second square. So which means, in this case now, I am going to have my what? Mg there, which is what? The mass times what? The acceleration due to gravity. So here, remember we said that, in this case, your F now become equal to mu, this is what? Mu R, and this mu, is what coefficient of static friction this is what we are looking for so this your mu here is equal to f over what r are you getting it now so all these things is just for illustration for you to understand what is happening on this world body so let me clean so that we find the coefficient of what static friction so when you look at the question here the force that is giving your f here is equal to 10 Newton. Then, what is mass? M there is equal to what? What, 5 kg. And we are going to make use of what? Weight. Which means weight, which is what? Mg will be 5 times 10. Giving us equal to what? 50 Newton. But remember, this R here that we are interested in, which is what? F equal to what? not f which is what mu equal to what f over what r this r here is equal to this w it's equal to this w because according to newton's third law of motion it says that what to every action there is equal and what opposite what reaction which means this weight here is acting downward and this reaction force is up acting what upward so they are equal. So in that case, I'm going to take R as equal to what 50 Newton. So my mu now will become equal to what is our F? 10 Newton here. 
10 all over what? What is our what? R. It's taken as our W, which is equal to our 50 Newton. So 10 Newton all over our 50 Newton. At the end of the day, this cancel out. We are going to have what? 0 0.2. So the mu, which is the coefficient, is equal to 0 0.2. It doesn't have what? Unit. It has no unit because it's a, a ratio of what? Two forces. Thank you so much. That's how far we can go for today. So in our next video, we are going to look at an application of friction on our what? inclined plane. So watch out for the next video. Don't forget to share this video. As you do so, God will bless you.